You guys, oh my god. We have a lot of books to go over. This is gonna be the biggest haul I think I've ever done. So let's just get into it. I do wanna do a little disclaimer though. I did buy these books during Prime Day. I don't know if it's still going on, but if it wasn't because of that, then I wouldn't be able to buy all of these books because as you guys know, books are very expensive, especially right now. They raise the prices. So usually with hardcovers, they're usually like $30 plus and then paperbacks are like 20 to 25. Like it really depends, but I just think that's really, really expensive. So that's really the main reason and why I bought these books is because they were really really cheap like some of these books were like six to eight dollars and you know like that's a really good deal with some of these books I wanted to get them because they are part of a series that I want to continue and you guys will see so without Prime Day I wouldn't be able to do such a huge book haul right now so I just wanted to let you guys know that I this was not possible without it and I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to be able to buy these books I'm just so excited to fill up more of my bookshelf so yeah, let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the single ones where it's just one book in them. Let me go grab scissors because I don't have them with me. Okay, grab the scissors. Let's get into it. I don't know which any of these books are, so opening them will be a surprise. First book is, okay, so yeah, this is part of a series that I wanted to get. Buying a complete series can get so expensive. I did that with the Akatar series and I had to do them kind of like little by little because they are so expensive to buy them all at the same time. Think if I'm not mistaken, this is the third book and this is part of the Inheritance Games. Let me actually see what this whole series is about because I tried reading the first one and I think I was a little bit of a funk. I wanted to give that book justice and not DNF it and kind of go into it a little bit not with the right mindset. So I did stop DNF that book. So let me see what that whole series is about. So basically what the first book is about is we're following a girl named Avery and this one person dies and he leaves all his inheritance to her. But one of the catches is that she does have to live in his house where all of his grandsons live. And so she's kind of like trying to figure out why he basically left everything to her. And the same thing goes with the brothers or the grandkids where they're kind of like, who is this person? We've never met this girl before. Like, why is she here? And the house also has like different passages. It's kind of like a not magical house, but there are some aspects to it where there's like different puzzles, different riddles to them. And there's different rooms that you can't get to them without solving those so I do think that this one will be such a good series to get into and I believe that this one is also the one where there's like a love triangle I believe correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's what really drew me to this because it's YA and it also has like a love triangle and obviously like I like those especially growing up with the Twilight series you know she had kind of like a love triangle with Jacob and Edward and there's other ones that were like that too and I really like that so I think that the series would be really really fun to get into especially now coming into fall or transitioning into fall pretty soon. Let's open up the next book. Ooh, okay, so this is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This one I saw and it really intrigued me. I think that I saw it a couple times on Book Talk. Just the cover really, really intrigued me. I think this one involves like different friends. Oh, let me see. Ooh, okay, so this one follows Oliver and he served 10 years in jail for a murder he may or may not committed. On the day he's released, he's greeted by the man who put him in prison. Detective Colborn is retiring, but before he goes, he wants to know what really happened a decade ago. Ooh, that sounds so fun. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be YA. Maybe it is, I don't know. Next one that we're gonna open is this one. Okay. The next book that I got was The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is kind of more of like a literary fiction that I really want to get into. I know that this is one of those books where, you know, like the writing is kind of poetic and you have to read it multiple times to understand what it's talking about. And I know that it does use a little bit more brain power. So I just, I don't know, like something about grabbing this taking it somewhere in public and you know seeming smart it just sounds really fun to me and I've heard that this book is either you love it or you hate it and usually with those type of books I am the type of person who loves them like I've never really not liked the book in that situation I usually have to go on Goodreads to figure out what these books are about because the bag doesn't really give you any indication to it so I think that Goodreads has a better summary of these books oh okay okay so this is a group of college friends going through college in New England. This is definitely going to be a book that I will be reading in fall though. So look out for that video in the future. Okay, the next book. 
Oh, this one has two. I got Five Survived by Holly Jackson. This is the author of Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I loved and ate that up. I'm still thinking about that book, even though I read it like maybe three years ago. So I highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet. And the series is coming out pretty soon. So I'm so excited. They did the characters and casting so well. I think it's because Holly also in some way had a saying with the actual casting of it. So I think they did it really, really well. And I'm so excited to see Pip. This one is kind of like a whodunit type of thing, like a quick mystery. So it's eight hours, six friends, and five survive. And they're all going on a road trip. And while on that road trip, their RV does break down. And so they have eight hours until dawn. And all of those friends have to escape. And so they're all kind of like trying to escape this one person that's trying to kill them. And I just think that is such a fun read as well. I'm so excited. I love Holly Black. She did come to Dallas one time and I was thinking about going, but then like they sold out pretty quickly. And so I'm a little sad that I wasn't able to go and see her, but I just think that this one will be such a fun read. The next book that I got was Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She is the author of The Inheritance Games. I got this one because I read the first book and I really enjoyed that one. That one is also a YA mystery. I don't know, there was something about that first book that I really enjoyed and the ending, I really liked that twist that happened. And so with this one, I just, I don't know. I just think that it, this one will be so fun to read and I really want to read it pretty soon. And for the first book, she's actually sent to this like secret service place where there's a bunch of people around her same age with special abilities. And so they all have different abilities that kind of help the secret service solve mysteries. And so they're all going with them and trying to solve these mysteries. And the twist at the end, I really, really liked. So I'm super excited to read this one pretty soon. Okay, so the next one, this one is a box. So I think this one will probably have more than two or three. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited for this one. I can already see the front. I'm so excited. This one is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. Look at that. She is think she's like yeah she's almost 400 pages the reason why i picked this one up like i picked it up pretty quickly because sarah caroli actually talked about this one and the way that she described it i just needed to get it asap so this one basically follows two friends throughout their entire lives like childhood through you know adulthood and so that's basically what this whole book is about is them going through that and it also takes you through the decades and what happens throughout those decades i don't know her reaction was the reason why i got this book i I do have another book by her, The Nightingale. And that one, I think I'm gonna read that one first just because I think that I gravitate towards that one more. I feel like I'm gonna find my next favorite author. I don't know why, but I think that she's definitely gonna be one of them. So, so excited to just read it and just read another historical fiction. I don't know why, but after reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, I just wanted to read a little bit more of those type of books where it takes you through different timelines. And I think this one is gonna break my heart. So, so excited. The next book that I got was The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. Like I said, this is the same author. And this one I got because basically just because of the sale. I've been eyeing this for the longest time, but I just could not justify buying it because I think it was like $30 at Barnes and I just did not want to pay that price. So when I saw it on sale on Prime Day, I was like, I need to get that ASAP. So this one is basically about 18 year old Belle and how her mom actually disappears and her case was never solved like no one knows what happened to her and a few years later because of how popular that case was um, a true crime documentary series actually picked it up and so because of that they got more traction and her mom actually reappears so I just think that this one will just be a really good read I love Holly Jackson and I think that her books are just so quick to read I love her YA mysteries I think they're so fun and I'm just so excited so this is the last box this one is a little hefty so I think this is where the rest of the books are okay so like i said buying the actual series during this time just saves you so much money so i did buy this series because I fell in love with Abby Jimenez. Like, I love her so much. This is the first year that I picked up her books and I ate them up. Like, I can't stop thinking about her other books. So I thought that around this time will be the perfect time to buy the rest of her books. I am obsessed with her. Honestly, I love her writing and I just want to continue reading more of her books. So I did get her other series. So I think the first book is the Happy Ever After playlist and then these two are afterwards. I don't know. I just love her so much. They're so good and there's so much emotional depth to it 
and their characters are just so good. I love all of her characters. They're so fun to read and I just love how all of them have in some way some life lessons and you can definitely relate to each character in some way and the way that they all meet is just so fun. So I think that these will be just so fun to read. I definitely want to read one very soon. So I'm so excited that I was able to pick them up. Oh my god, I, I love these. Like this cover right here, love so much. I don't know. I'm so excited. This one is what I was the most excited for was this whole entire series. The next book that I got was the second. I think this is the second one. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. But yeah, this is the second book. Now I'm completed with the whole series. I have that whole series, I believe. I do think that there's a spinoff. I do want to read these three books and see if I want to continue that series because it's basically kind of like the Cruel Prince series where it's a trilogy, but it has a spinoff with another character. So I think that's what the other ones are kind of like. The last book that I got was Heartless Hunter. <laughs> this one I've been seeing a little bit more circulating on book talk, so I had to grab it. I don't know. There was just something about this book that I really intrigued me. I think it was just the cover. I don't know. There was just something about it. Enemies to Lovers doesn't get more high stakes than a witch and a witch hunter falling in love. <sighs> Y'all, oh my god. I've actually never really read that many books, including witches. Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna really like this one a lot, especially since she's the witch and he's the witch hunter. I think this is also part of a series. I think this is the first book. I don't think the second book has come out yet. I'm intrigued to see if I'm gonna like this series. Let me know if you guys have read this one. I have seen it circulating on Book Talk, so let me know if you guys have read it. So these are all the books that we got. It's such a huge haul. I'm so grateful that I was able to purchase these. I'm so happy. So those are all the books that we got in today's book haul. I am so grateful and so excited that I was able to get all of these. So yeah, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever time you guys are watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.